All right, time to take a look at the Empinar Air Duster. It's interesting. Comes with a little hose. Let's see what that does. We got a little baggie. We got our vacuum attachment. So you can see this dot is lined up with locked. So if we want to unlock that, we just give it a twist. So inside the nozzle, we got this flap. So if I push up on that, we can make sure that none of the dust is going to be falling back out. And that all gets trapped in this filter. It looks like we got a second filter right here. So that's pretty cool. It's a two-stage filter system. We got this thick mesh system, and then we got the fine particle system. So that's nice. And we got the duster itself. So this is the extraction, and then this is the suction. So if we want to put the vacuum on, we just twist that and pull it off, and then line up those tabs with these notches. And there we go. I like that they got that cover on there. We don't have to worry about it turning on before we get it. And it says press three seconds to turn it on. On the second and third press, it changes the power, and the fourth press turns it off. That's cool. It's got a little light for the front, too. Actually, it pushes quite a bit of air. All right. It's actually not that bad. Then we've got our charging cable. So this is USB-A to USB-C. It looks like that plugs in right there on the handle. We've got a bunch of nozzles. We've got our standard long nozzle. This is the one that almost everybody uses. Definitely gonna be the one that I always use just because it gives you a little bit extra reach. Then we've got a short reducing nozzle. So if you want to reduce the airflow so you can be working on something more delicate, you can use that. Then we've got a similar thing with a cap den. So if you're gonna be inflating anything, so if you want to inflate some inner tubes or anything like that for the pool, you can do that. And then we got our short nozzle. We got two brush nozzles. So if you want to do a little bit of friction cleaning, you can use these. So for the duster one, it just plugs into the front. That's pretty good. So if you want to add some physical contact while you're dusting, you can use that. And the other one has the oval shape. So that is going to plug into our vacuum. And it looks like the tip is also removable. So we can just use that with a nozzle or we can use that with the brush. I'm not really sure where the tube enters into this. I suppose if you wanted to, you could put it on the reducing nozzle. So you could still use a duster, but you could reach around weird corners anywhere where this wouldn't be able to fit. It's not gonna be a lot of places because this is kind of tiny, but if you needed that extra room, you can use this for that. Uh, I'm mostly gonna be using it in the duster configuration. So I'm just gonna take off the vacuum attachment just to make sure I have the most airflow. Not a lot of dust on here, but that is basically what I'm going to be using this thing for. This is a duster. It's so much nicer not having those compressed air cans. Basically, I just keep this thing charged. I always got a duster. So yeah, overall, that is a very cool kit.